Hi all, and welcome back to the UI path process mining sessions. So this is in continuation of the past videos, which we have already discussed about process mining and the difference between manual led process discovery and technology led dis process discovery. So now in this video, we are going to discuss about what is UI path process mining. And then we are going to demonstrate how UI path process mining is helpful to us compared to how we were doing it in terms of the manual process discovery. So before starting, what is process mining that it might be coming in our mind? So process mining is an alternative to manual process discovery, a data driven fact based alternative. It uses information about processes from event logs generated by enterprise systems like ERP, Oracle, SFDC, and many more to generate process insight and visualization. These are then analyzed to discover, monitor, and optimize processes. So now let's see how process mining helps and where to go for process mining. So now I am in my UiPath orchestrator. To use process mining, we have to click on this more options and then there is something called process mining. So let's click on this process mining. Once you click on this process mining, you can see there are these things since I have already created something like processes. So you can be observing this. If you are new, it would be a blank process for you to create a new project or process mining. What do you have to do? You have to first click on this create new app. Once you click on this create new app, you might be getting this same template. So first will be any processes. Suppose if you don't have an system like SAP Oracle, which you can see here in the below dashboard service now Jira. If you don't have these things, then there is a simple way to start with is called template one multi files. Start with cases and event data and use tags and due dates to analyze any business process by bringing data from any source system. So since to start with this, I will start this as a blank project so that everyone from any domain, not specific to any enterprise can use this. So what I have to do, I will just use this create app. I will give the name description. Suppose I will give any name. then save and next and then here there will be three options for you first use sample data which is just given by ui path to play with the data to understand process mining if you have if you don't want to do that if you are already a pro or expert in this field so you can use something called upload data where you need to provide the data in the form of TSV or CSV files, or if you uh, even if you don't want, if you don't have CSV file, you can use something called upload data using extractor. So we have multiple extractor like CD data sync and many more. If you want to use this, you can use upload data with extractor. Once you are done, you just need to use save and review, and then it will take few one or two minutes to initialize this app and you can see it. Since I have already done this with the name template one multi files run up. So you can come here and click on this. So since I am using a simple uh, sample data. So even if you will be using, you will get the same thing with no differences in terms of what I am demonstrating here. Now let's see how to analyze and what we are seeing in this. So first of all, when you entered into this UI, you can see you will be in the overview tab. So what is this overview tab and what is the importance of this overview tab? So overview tab is something which will give you a brief introduction about what, how many processes we have, how many cases we have, how many variants we have, how many events we have. So for example, you can see here on the top left 
there is something called 1k cases are there and there are around 6.4k event logs for those particular cases now if you want to drill down you can see here in the month of july we have 57 cases similarly august september and the data with the details you can see here how many cases per month we have and then what is variance what is variance in the cells the process which you defined it but in actual in reality there is the process does not follow the same rule and it went outside the rules that you have defined that is called variance so you can see here there are 88 variants for the process which you have defined it and which we have already seen like for example uh, let me go back and when we were discussing something like this so suppose this is the process map receive invoice process invoice final check of invoice approve invoice pay invoice so i am just repeating it so this was the process and this is the rule that we have defined but when variation comes variation means instead of following instead of moving it sequentially it has moved some other way so now let me go back to the process mining so this was variant and events events in the sense those cases how many events it has generated for the those particular cases which we'll discuss in a while now you can see here we have defined only five cases suppose receive invoice but in reality that activity has changed like receive invoice was 1k but check received invoice was become 973 pay invoice become 965 so all these things you can see here in the overview section then total case value is around 100 million dollar and then average throughput time to make this or to complete the process is 90 so this is the just the basic introduction from the overview section we are getting now moving to few other tabs like end to end tabs so when i click on this end to end tabs so you can see here when i am talking about variant and when i told there are 88 variants if you, and you can see here if i do something like this you can see all the 88 variants with the number of cases so suppose this variant have this much cases and what is this on the right side this is something called process map so here let me so this is what we were discussing on this powerpoint so we have something called receive invoice then check received invoice final check of invoice approve invoice pay invoice so as you can see here we are uh, we told the board that we have received thousand and pay invoice till here it has become 965 only if you want to go little deep and if you just drag it you can see here what you were expected what you expected that it will move from this particular section to this particular section sequentially but it has not done like that and it has taken a different approach where it has used request data check contract conditions like that if you want more thing you can see here when you start going deeper you can see this process map keep on changing and you will get something like this which shows you that how your process has changed instead of going sequentially how complicated your process becomes so let me tell you like suppose instead of going from check received invoice to final check of invoice it has not taken the next step but it has taken something like request data then check contract conditions and then process employ reimbursement and all these things has gone through this process now let's dig more deeper on this and let's see we can see event analysis so you, this is what i was talking about event so there were so many events generated on that so for example for the cases the final check of invoice was, has become 1.39 pay invoice has become this because multiple times that particular section has been ran now let's go to the an uh, into in section and do how to analyze these things in process mining 
So let's, for example, since I am seeing that is the variant one has the highest number of cases. So let me click on this particular section, variant one, click on this. Once you click on this, you can see there is something called filter. Just click on this filter and filter on variant one. Once you click on this filter one, what, what will happen? Now, out of 1k cases that we told that we have for that particular processes, now that has reduced to 328. And now you can see here, you can only see the 328, 323, sorry, cases. Now, the throughput time distribution for those things, like you can see here, 29 cases took one or less, lesser than one day. Then again, similarly, 65 cases took one or two days and so on. You can see here in this particular section, but I want to see why this process took this much variation. Number of cases you can see here, 328, this much of valuation and average throughput is gain. I want to now dig more deeper into this. So let me click on this root cause analysis. So. I have clicked on this root cause analysis. Now you can see the screen is blank. What I will do, I will just click on this case status. Instead of that, I will use something called team. And now you can see here, out of this 323 cases that we have taken, now what I can see here, in terms of team, what I mean by team. So first of all, let me go to the process data and tell you. There are different case type here. So suppose we have small invoice, we have partner invoice and multiple invoice sections case type are there. And we will be, we'll be showing you all those things. And teams are the things you, you can have administrative, HR, finance, sales, marketing. So now all those cases that we were discussing, which team took more time to complete the process. I want to discuss, I want to understand that. So from here, I can see, and I have also clicked on this. So significant influences. What I observe here is the finance team has taken the highest percentage here. And then you can also see in line management controlling, but their significance is negative. It means the cases that we are talking here, the impact has been made only by the finance team. Okay. So let's see who in the finance team has made this process too long. So what I will do, I will just click on this add layer and then I would say something called user. I'll click on this user. Let me maximize this. And now you can see here. In the other, it's Nisim comms that user has taken more time in purchasing. You have Gilbush and then in finance approval in administrative in finance, all those things in C you can see here line management is negative. So whenever you are seeing negative, it means it is not making, uh, it has not taken much time. So you can ignore that. You can also click on this. So significant influencer, which will give you this data. So now. Out of this, now you are observing it. Okay. Now where you need to give focus. So you can see here, you can understand. Okay. The, in the purchasing team, I need to focus more on Gilbush and Alder Baxter because they are, they have taken 34 out of the 34 cases, the, they have taken this 26 cases and they are the person who like whom we need to give more training or we need to understand what was the reason. And if you also want, you can click on this add other layer and also you can say case value group. And if you want to limit it, you can maximize this or like this so that only few people will be shown. And now you can see here, you will get to know which user has making an impact on the revenue. So now this 57% is giving you is handing the 57 or 10 K to hundred K revenue invoices. Then this NIDA 
is handling this now according to the case value you can assign which one to give priority if you want to add more layers you can come here you can understand using these things so case status case type if you click on case type let me yeah now you can see here the 10k to 100k which we are talking about it is from the small invoices so now we are getting more details which particular user how much case value and which case type that particular user is making an impact and because of that our process is making more inefficient so using this process analysis and process mining technology of ui path you can go deeper into this and understand more on this further there are much more to discuss but i want to keep this video short so i'll be discussing more on the next video till then bye bye and happy learning and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much